What's up YouTube, Jeff back again here, and today another very exciting tech video for you guys. Imagine being able to access your PC from anywhere, your phone, your tablet, even on the go while you're out and about with no lag, no complicated setup, and a full 4K display. That's exactly what we're gonna dive into right here today on the channel with Remotely, a brand new desktop app that's secure, free, and surprisingly fast. Before we get into it, let's talk about what makes this different from everything else you've tried, because trust me, there's a lot of other options out there, and this one is not your average remote access app. Quick note before we get started, this video is sponsored by Remotely, but all opinions and testings results are my own. I spent the past week using Remotely across multiple platforms and devices, and I'm very, very impressed overall with this remote desktop experience. I've used it on my Android devices, I've used it on my Android tablets, and I've used it on my Galaxy Book and Lenovo laptops. Overall, it's absolutely fantastic. That being said, let's go ahead and get right into everything that Remotely can do. First of all, let's talk about exactly what Remotely is. Remotely is a remote desktop connection app available for Windows and Android right now, with Mac and iOS versions coming later this year. You install it on your PC, download the Android app, and within seconds, you're connected. It's very, very simple, very fast. It took me less than five minutes to do both downloads, get everything synced up so that I could remote into my Galaxy Book directly from my Galaxy S25 Ultra. You can view, control, and interact with your full desktop from your phone or tablet securely. It uses top-level encryption, TLS 1.3, AES 256, and RSA 4096. Basically, for layman's terms, that's military-grade security for your connection. That means absolutely no one else can intercept your session or gain access without your permission. Let's now talk about some of the key features that Remotely offers. What makes it stand out from other remote desktop connections is the interface. The UI is extremely intuitive. When you move your cursor around your PC's interface, the navigation bar on your phone, assuming you're using a phone, which of course is a smaller screen size, it automatically switches between the top and the bottom of your smartphone screen, which means that it's easier for you to see what's on your PC's display. It means your view is never blocked by controls, and zooming is also handed perfectly. You can pinch in to focus on text or interface elements and remotely intelligently adjust that navigation so you don't lose track of where you are. It feels natural, just like you're using a touch version on your PC, and essentially, it just feels like the touch screen on my Galaxy Book. Performance is another highlight of Remotely. It supports up to 4K HDR 10-bit color with near zero latency. Even on a cloud connection, the delay is minimal, and with peer-to-peer, -peer, it's virtually instant. I tested general tasks for work like Notion, Slack, which we use for communication at Sami Guru, Microsoft Word for writing scripts like the one for this video, and everything ran absolutely butter smooth. File access was instant whether I was on Wi-Fi or mobile data. You can tell there's a serious optimization under the hood that's reducing battery, CPU, and GPU load. Remotely did an absolutely fantastic job of optimizing everything with this application. Let's talk about some use cases for Remotely. Remotely fits perfect for both personal and business use. For everyday casual users, you can access your PC remotely, run Windows-only apps, and of course, access all of your favorite files. You can also watch movies that are stored on your computer's hard drive, or even check your webcam feed to make sure that your pets are okay if you have your laptop at home. Now for professionals and business use, it's a secure way to connect to your work, all those business files, if you're a creator like myself, all of your creative files for your video, your B-roll, your scripts, everything while you're away. And with a virtual display driver, you can even turn your tablet into a second monitor, which is something that I tested out with my Xiaomi Pad Mini and my Tab S11 Ultra. That's perfect for creators like myself or anyone who needs screen space when traveling light. Remotely offers a free plan, which is actually free. There's a novel concept. No time limits, no trials that expire after one week. You get full access for personal use. And if you upgrade, you'll unlock higher connection speeds, priority servers, and multiple device connections. It's flexible and straightforward. There's no hidden catches whatsoever. Remotely does a great job with this pricing structure and does something that very few other apps out there do today it has the free forever plan that you never need to upgrade. I absolutely love that. Moving on to my experience using the app the past week, this is where I was genuinely surprised. I spent a few hours gaming on remotely using my Galaxy S25 Ultra and Xiaomi Pad Mini, 
I played Forza Horizon 5 from my S25 Ultra and Pad Mini uh, using my Galaxy Book 5 Pro. And even though the cloud connection was there, the performance was very impressive. Crisp visuals, low latency, and no audio desync. If you're into mobile gaming with high performance games, or just want to access your PC games remotely, the Remotely app even lets you set up custom on-screen controls for all of your favorite game genres. You can assign buttons, triggers, and joysticks for shooters, racers, or fighting games. Everything feels customizable and responsive. That being said, finding the gaming sweet spot, I would say a small tablet like the Xiaomi Pad Mini or even Tab S11 Ultra is better if you're going to be gaming because it is easier to use a Bluetooth controller and that makes the experience a little more rich. It gives you that console-like setup but still lets you run everything directly from your PC for extra power. And for productivity, Remotely's reliability really stood out. I was editing documents, checking emails, managing all of my Notion tasks, responding in Slack, and even moving large files all without lag. The app kept the connection stable and the video quality sharp the entire time that I was testing, no matter which of the connection types I was using. So that's Remotely. Overall, it feels like a remote desktop app built for everyone, creators, gamers, and professionals alike. It's fast, secure, and completely free to start using. If you wanna try it for yourself today, you can download Remotely for Windows and Android. The link is gonna be in the description and the pinned comment. I'd love to know what you guys think about this app. Let me know in the comments what you're using it for, your experience. I think you'll absolutely love it. It's very, very impressive in my experience. You can also spread the word to all of your friends out there, help them troubleshoot their PCs using Remotely. Uh, if you guys enjoyed the review, please like, comment, subscribe, check out the app. Huge shout out to Remotely for sponsoring the video. More great tech videos coming and reviews. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks so much for watching.